Rangers 3H Nam Y. Her AP Texas Rangers starting pitcher Ariel Girado throws against the Chicago White Sox during the first inning of a baseball game Saturday, May 19, 2018, in Chicago. AP Photo, Nam Y Hurt by Evan Grant, staff writer at Evan. P underscore Grant Chicago, on Saturday, for the second time in three games, the Rangers lost to the team with the worst record in baseball. When this series ends Sunday, the Chicago White Sox will have at least a split, if not a series win, which is something they can't say about any series that did not involve the similarly awful Kansas City Royals. In the chronicles of the Great Rangers rebuild, it may go down as a historic day, nonetheless. If the rebuild, and let's just dispense with calling it anything else, is to succeed, it must include homegrown starting pitching. On Saturday, the Rangers started one of those, a homegrown pitcher. More importantly, Ariel Girado was mostly as he had been advertised, despite taking the 5-3 loss. He threw strikes. He worked briskly. He showed off an improving breaking ball. He pitched with composure, even after he ran into trouble. We were very pleased with what we saw, manager Jeff Bannister said. He had a good running sinker and he showed a lot of poise. The Rangers turned to Gerardo to replace Cole Hamels, who had a stiff neck and needed more time. They opted to bypass journeyman Austin Bibbensterks to call up the 2-2-year-old who had never pitched above AA. I was in the apartment when I got the call and, honestly, I was crying, Gerardo said through a translator of getting the news of his call-up. This was a very happy moment for me, Gerardo pitched 42 thirds innings and was charged with four runs, the big blow being a two-out, two-run triple by left-handed hitting Daniel Palka. Palka was the fourth consecutive hitter to reach after a two-out walk to Yomer Sanchez. It was not a great inning by any stretch, but 22-year-olds coming straight from AA and without overpowering stuff are prone to some not-so-great innings. What was significant was Gerardo stayed in the game, worked through the fourth and got a chance to get the Rangers through the fifth. After a double to start the fifth and a ground out, Bannister had Gerardo intentionally walk the right-handed hitting Jose Abreu for two reasons. One, Abreu is the biggest threat in the White Sox lineup. Two, it gave Gerardo a chance to get a ground ball double play to end the inning. Alas, Gerardo struck out Matt Davidson. Rather than let Gerardo face Palka for a third time, Bannister turned to Brandon Mann, who got the Rangers out of the inning. Gerardo said he had a little issue with his mechanics in the third inning, which led to getting the ball up in the zone. He can't afford to get the ball up in the zone. His credit, he made an adjustment before the game got out of hand and gave the Rangers six more outs after the triple. It might just be enough to warrant another start, since the Rangers have the need for somebody Thursday against Kansas City. Bannister wasn't about to make any announcements 20 minutes after the game, but he did seem to offer an endorsement, I will say this, he showed a lot of moxie, Bannister said. He responded very well. He didn't seem affected by the big inning. There were a lot of learning experiences out there for him. There were so many positives. We love what we saw, open for business, here are five Rangers who could draw interest on the trade market do not mistake Dorado, for an ace-level pitcher. He's never been considered that type of talent, but staffs need guys to pile up innings and keep the team in the game. The going market rate for an average middle-of-the-road starter capable of pitching 160 or more innings is about $14 million. If you can find that value cheaper, it creates more ability to pay for the premium guy to front a staff. A veteran L talent evaluator had summed up Gerardo this way before the start, he's a sinker baller who lives and dies with it. 
There's not enough secondary quality to work out of trouble otherwise. Right now, he's a lesser version of Doug, Fister. He doesn't have the same type of command, and the secondary stuff can't be deployed as effectively. Fister is 34 and has a little more than 9 years in the majors. He's pitched 160 or more innings in 6 seasons. He's became what he is, a serviceable major league starter, over time. If Saturday was the first step towards Gerardo becoming a serviceable Major League starter, then regardless of result, it was indeed a significant moment in the Great Rangers' rebuild. Twitter, at Evan Grant.